So guys, can you all hear me? Yes. yes. Even at the back, does anyone have any uh, hearing difficulties, by the way? I do, but I have my hearing aids. Have you? I, but you can hear me clearly. Do let me know at any point if you can't hear me, all right? Uh, so my name is Richard, and I'm going to be your guide for today. And this is Sam, and Sam is going to make sure that we're safely delivered to all the lovely places that we're going to today, and safely brought back. So welcome to a bright and sunny no oh. <laughs> welcome to a dry Belfast. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we need. This is good. The fact that it's dry. Hopefully, it will. Charlie was telling me that uh, it's supposed to be dry all day. So if it isn't, we're going to blame Charlie. All right. Um, it's always my fault. It's all exactly. See, you've been trained well. It's always my fault. I've tried. <laughs> um, so, guys, um, this is a really good tour you've chosen, by the way. Not because Sam and I are on it, but it's a really good tour because you get to see quite a lot of things. As I was explaining to Charlie earlier on, the main axis of tourism here in Northern Ireland is the Titanic Exhibition Centre, which is about a mile and a half down there and the Giant's Causeway, about 60 miles to the north of here. But you've chosen a tour that takes you a little bit more off the beaten track, and you'll see things, some things that people, that you won't even have heard of. Um, so that's really good, and we really enjoy showing you those things. So you can all hear me, but can you understand what I'm saying? Yes. 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 Perfectly. Because we speak English here, but we speak English <laughs> differently than the rest of the world. Eat. How is how? <laughs> now is now. And cow is cow. So our vowel sounds are different here, okay? And later on I will give you a little language lesson and tell you some of the other words that we would use here. None of them rude. Um, although <laughs> Irish people and Northern Irish people are famed for their ability to swear passionately <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll try not to do that today um, but uh, yes yeah, so those are our particular vowel signs I'm quite a well-spoken Northern Irish man so you will find that I should be quite uh, understandable at times but I might lapse and you will find that sometimes if we talk to somebody else from Northern Ireland we talk very fast and you might be going what are they saying if if you're in a shop or whatever, you, there's a couple of gift shops that we will experience today. Um, if you're in those shops, you might hear people asking for, you know, eight pounds. So that's just so you know that that's what that means. So here we're in the United Kingdom, so we use the pound. We do not use the euro. So I'm going to endeavour not to bore you too much today. Uh, hopefully we'll have a bit of fun. But I am going to give you lots of information as well. Um, so. Fundamentally, you're all on your holidays, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. And is everyone from America? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, so, fundamentally, there are two countries in the island of Ireland. Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And the partition of Ireland occurred in 1921. So, Northern Ireland is 102 years old as a little country. And it is a little country. So I've never been there, but I believe Rhode Island is your smallest state. Um, so I, 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 I'm not too sure how big Rhode Island is, but Northern Ireland would be not too far uh, away in terms of size. We are 100 miles long by 115 miles across, so we are not a big country at all. Um, consequently, however, as a person that has lived most of his life here, uh, I can tell you that our our perception of distance here is quite warped. <laughs> okay, we consider, you know, so if you lived 30 miles away from Belfast and worked in Belfast, people would go, oh, that's an awfully long way. Well, they would, they would use other words. Uh, they would say, they would think you're crazy. Um, so, of course, the advantage of living in a little... A uh, country like this is we're never too far from anything and uh, the, about the farthest trip that you'll ever take in Northern Ireland is to a place called Enniskillen which is right in the south west of, of, of Northern Ireland and that's about a two-hour drive uh, so that's considered to be quite a drive. Our 
32 counties in the whole of Ireland, but six of those counties are Northern Ireland. So Northern Ireland is sometimes known as the six counties. It's also known as Northern Ireland, the North of Ireland, and of course, Ulster. So in traditional Ireland, there are four traditional areas, and if you follow the rugby, you'll know what they are. They're Ulster.